Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book, How to Be an Anti-Racist, a creation by Ibram X. Kendi. How to Be an Anti-Racist, 2019, delves into the roots of racism and offers remedies for its presence in society. By blending personal anecdotes with political and historical knowledge, the author advocates for an authentic anti-racist approach and provides guidance on fostering change within an unfair world. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Ibram X. Kendi, an American author and academic, won the 2016 National Book Award for Nonfiction with his book Stamped from the Beginning, The Definitive History of Racist Ideas in America. He also founded the Anti-Racist Research and Policy Center at American University. With seven key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book on storyplane.net. To start, benefit from viewing the world with an anti-racist perspective. The text highlights the persistence of racism in today's society, citing incidents like the Charleston shooting and police brutality. It stresses the importance of becoming an anti-racist and challenging traditional views on race. The text mentions how the summarizer will provide insights on anti-racism, addressing segregationism, biological racism, and the importance of making the world more equal and just. Key idea number one. Anti-racists recognize that racial inequality is driven by racist policies. The text explains the concepts of racism and anti-racism, highlighting how racist policies lead to racial inequity and how anti-racist policies aim to promote equity among racial groups. It emphasizes the importance of actively opposing racism and supporting anti-racist policies to create a more just society. Key idea number two, racists attribute racial inequality to what they see as an inferior black culture. Eleanor Holmes. Norton's view on improving African-American situation in 1985 was criticized as assimilationist and racially biased. Assimilationists believe certain racial groups need to change to reach a standard, usually white peoples, while segregationists advocate for racial separation. Anti-racists support equality without the need for any group to change and focus on policy changes to reduce racial inequity rather than changing cultural values. Key idea number three, believing in significant biological differences between races is considered racist. The author reflects on the harmful ideas of biological racism and how it can lead to misconceptions about genetic differences between races. Biological racists believe in superior or inferior characteristics based on race, while biological anti-racists understand that we are biologically the same with no genetic differences between races. Scientists have discovered that we share a 99.9% identical genetic makeup Debunking the notion of distinct racial genes. Ethnicity, not race, is what can be inherited genetically, showing that race is a social construct without a genetic foundation. Key idea number four. The text highlights how racist notions surrounding skin color promote the false belief that lighter skin is superior. The text discusses the concept of colorism, which involves discrimination based on skin color within racial groups, it highlights examples of colorism in various aspects of society, such as politics, education, employment, and the justice system. Colorism is also evident in mainstream beauty standards and affects self-esteem. To be an anti-racist, one must address color discrimination and recognize the impact of colorism on inequality within racial groups, not just between them. Key idea number five. The text emphasizes that racist ideas about white people are still considered racist ideas. Kendi's anger at the 2000 US presidential election led him to develop anti-white racism, influenced by Nation of Islam teachings. He later realized this mindset was racist and embraced an anti-racist stance. 
Anti-racism involves rejecting all forms of racism and understanding that racism can go both ways, while distinguishing between powerful racists and regular individuals. Key idea number six, black people are capable of exhibiting anti-black racism similar to white individuals. The text discusses incidents of internalized racism among African Americans, highlighting how some members of the community perpetuate stereotypes and harmful beliefs about their own race. It mentions examples such as differentiation between respectable and disreputable black individuals, as well as the notion that lower-income black Americans are responsible for their own poverty. The text also challenges the idea that black people cannot be racist due to lack of power, emphasizing the importance of acknowledging and combating internalized racism within the community. Key idea number seven, racism is pervasive in society, but it can be overcome. A man named Kendi, at 35, was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer that had spread. Drawing parallels, he compares racism to cancer, both pervasive in society. Despite low survival rates, Kendi beat cancer, urging persistence in fighting racism and envisioning an equitable future. In conclusion, the key message is about what it means to be an anti-racist and the actions needed to challenge racial inequality by fighting against racist policies and ideas. Racism exists in many forms beyond overt discrimination, and it is important to confront and dismantle it. Further reading on this topic is suggested in the book Stamped from the Beginning by Ibram X. Kendi. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on StoryPlanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories and knowledge await you there. See you soon on StoryPlanet.net.